Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm so excited because it's finally here, but we are going to be viewing the new Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse collection. So we have the eyeshadow palette, we have the eye brushes, we have the lipstick and lip gloss. So you guys want to see what type of look I created out of this, what my thoughts are? Well then definitely keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so before we dive into today's video, today is day four of my 12 days of giveaway. So make sure you guys head on over to my Instagram to see how you guys can win this awesome prize right here. I did team up with Cooley, Kululi. It is a skincare fridge. So they are providing the fridge. I'm providing all the skincare and yeah, it's such a really, really exciting giveaway. I'm so excited to partake in that. But with that said, guys, I'm dying to dive into this collection. When I saw Manny Mae's video talking about his new collection, I was like, bitch, I'm in heaven. Now I am not a neutral gal type of girl. You guys know that, you guys know I'm a color queen, but it's Manny Mae and it's Lunar Beauty. And I have got to say, and I mean this in like in the, the sincerest way possible, I truly believe that Lunar Beauty is really underrated. I think people are sitting on the products far too often and Lunar Beauty is is like that underdog that you are constantly rooting for. It's actually in my like top five favorite brands. Literally my favorite lip of all time is from Lunar Beauty. It is the Aphrodite liquid lip. It is the most gorgeous red ever. I actually gave that to my sister because I have a few spares over there because I never want to run out for my sister so she can have so she can experience the beauty of Lunar Beauty. And not only are the lipsticks amazing, but the glosses, like the Celine gloss, like the formula, the smell, the texture, the shine, the feeling on the lips is like no other. Truly, it is one of the best lip glosses I have ever experienced. And I own every single thing from the Lunar Beauty collection. And I don't know, a Manny Amy Waste formula is just, it's that bitch. Like it is that bitch. And it, I feel like it's so underrated. And I feel like more people need to be talking about this brand because it truly is a fantastic brand. Not only can you find it like at the Morphe stores, but I believe, I believe I saw it at Sephora at one time. I don't think he's in Sephora anymore, but how freaking sickening as it makes to say is that not only can you find his brand online, but you actually can shop it in person. And I literally own everything from his collection. The only thing I never ever owned was the um, Zaya liquid lip. This came out with the Greek goddess collection and it sold out before I had a chance to buy it. And I have probably tweeted out to Manny over the last like, three years, can you bring this bitch back? And he's ignored every single one, it is what it is. But I really wanted this formula. So now that this is back as a permanent collection to like his line, I'm like, oh my God, it's the one thing I've been missing. So I'm so excited to dive into this collection. I'm so excited to try out these new brushes that he talked about. I know that he had said that these brushes were gonna come later on for people who ordered the bundle collection. Literally, I probably got a shipping notification like a day or two after people I knew that just bought just the these two right here. My brushes came right away. Like they didn't get held up very, very long. I'm excited to see how they feel. Um, I do think that his brushes are really, really, really affordable for sure. And the bag is freaking huge. So I'm excited to dive into this. So first things first, we do have this palette right here. Now this is the Eternal Eclipse palette, guys. This is just, the packaging on this alone is just freaking amazing. Look at how gorgeous this is. When you open it up, this is how she looks right here. It's going to be a counterpart to the Strawberry Dreams collection. It kind of looks like his, um, his blush collection as well, but this is just, it's a very, very, very stunning packaging. And when you open her up, here we have the eyeshadows themselves. Now, like I said, these are typically shadows that I necessarily wouldn't go for because they are very, very neutral, but he does have the deeper colors right here, which I am living for. But the packaging alone is just fantastic. Now his formula, his mattes are very pigmented. They're very blendable and his shimmers, they're gorgeous. That palette right there does retail for $48. Then we have the newest liquid lips and lip glosses to the collection. So first we have Zayo, which you guys already know that I have been dying to get my hands on. Okay, so first we have Zayo right here, which like I said, this came out originally with the Greek Goddess collection. And I'm gonna go ahead and swipe it. I always wanted to get this, but I was never able to. Like, look at, look at that color right there. That is a stunning color. Perfect for the fall season and Oh God, such a good, good, good smell. And I love the packaging, very gorgeous. Then we have a very new liquid lip. Then we have a very new lip gloss and this is in the shade 
Aura, which I love theming. I love that he's all about the moon and the goddesses. Oh, so sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and swipe this right on here. Now this is gonna be a colored gloss, but these two are supposed to complement each other extremely, extremely well. So we have these two right here. The Zaya Liquid Lip is gonna be $18, and then you do the lip gloss right here, the Aura Lip, then you have the Aura Lip Gloss that's gonna be retails for $17. Then he has a brush set. So this brush set does retail for $35, which is actually a fantastic price for all the brushes inside. You can buy each brush individually or you can buy it as a whole with the bag for $35. I do love the concept and the design. I love the fact that it has like, I love the fact that it has that shift, that gradients. It is very, very gorgeous. And the bristles are super, super soft. Now, Manny is the queen at eyeshadow looks. He loves neutral eyeshadow looks, does them all the time, and he always makes them look so effortlessly. So when I saw he had brushes, I was like, oh, bitch, I have to get them because I have to see how amazing this quality is because if they're any good, because if they're as good as he says they are, then they're probably gonna be really good. Um, I also wanna point out how beautiful his freaking like uh, promotional photos are. Like, it is so freaking stunning. Oh my God, I also like how he has the price points right back here. Really helpful. So let me go ahead and swatch the colors for you guys. And then we're just gonna dive on into an eye look today. I'm so freaking excited because I, I love Luna Beauty. I can't stress it on us. I think you guys, have, if you guys have been here on my channel from the very get go, you guys have always seen me wear the Aphrodite look a lip and talk about how much I love Luna Beauty because it's just that bitch. It's just that queen. <laughs> All right, so here we have the first two rows. I do apologize for the horrible swatch, but we have the first shape, which is flare, followed by animalium, animonium. I think this is what you talked about, like Wolverine has inside of him. So I better be glowing, like I better grow some like claws as I'm wearing this eyeshadow. Then we have the shade Meteor, followed by Gold Dust, followed by Desert Sky. You know, I have to say that he just rolled out with this collection just in the nick of time because right now I'm a conspiracist and I love watching conspiracy theories and, and, and I, I'm a big believer in aliens. Y'all been seeing those monoliths that they've been talking about? There's one like the desert of Utah. Then there's one that's found in like, um, oh crap, it's not Russia, the Ukraine, and then now one found in California. Guys? What are they preparing? Like I'm thinking like Independence Day is about to happen. If anybody watches The Simpsons, The Simpsons have predicted everything that was gonna happen in 2020. And now they're predicting like 2021, there's gonna be everything up in smoke and flames and fires everywhere and all these robot machines walking by. Anyway, I think the aliens are prepared to attack us. So I think that Manny Amy Way just came out with this collection at the exact perfect time. Conspiracy, I'm a, I can go off and talk about that all day every day, but that's not why you guys are here to watch this video. So the next row we do have Dusk, we have Rose Thorn, Sandstorm, Summer Sky, and Earthbender. I love the fact that he included freaking Earthbending on here. I love the last, I, I see her going again. I love The Last Avatar. It is such a fantastic show. And they put it on Netflix this year during the summer. Me and Corey like literally binge watched the crap out of the show. Um, I still think the biggest moment for me, um, I love whenever Aang goes into the Avatar state. I just, it always gives me chills. But the very, very end, when he had the ability to take away someone's bending, I was like, I mean, the chills that went through my body, my hair stood up. I was like, oh my God, like that is like, yo, that was like the sickest thing I've ever seen. And I hate that's where the show ended. And I never really got into Legend of Korra. It just wasn't the same. It didn't feel the same. And uh, I was so excited when Netflix was taking on, I'm just keep swatching and talking to you guys. I was so excited when I heard that the Netflix was actually gonna do a live action version of it because in my Shyamalan did the, did the movie of it and it was actually really, really horrible. But I was, I was, you know, I read that the actual creators of the show were gonna do the Netflix series. And then unfortunately there was a big fallout and now that's not happening, which is really disappointing because I really, really want it to be exactly like the cartoon. And so I hope they do it justice. I'm scared they won't, but only time will tell. But uh, I, I love The Last Airbender so, so much. It's actually one of the first shows Corey and I ever watched together when we first started dating. And 
Corey knows that if I had had any power, I would be a waterbender. I would be a waterbender. And my sign is water sign anyway, because I'm a Scorpio. So I am I am a water, that's my water sign. So uh, Corey's actually fire, so we always like clash sometimes. We could be the best of friends, or we could be like, the worst of enemies, you know? So it's so interesting to read in the horoscopes. Anyway, this is the last row right here. I've gone on a tangent. We have a starry-eyed. We have smoke. We have deep sea, freaking gorgeous. We have Lagoon, and then we have Night Sky. Very, very, very beautiful. So I'm really, really excited to play with these shadows. I'm really excited to see what type of look I create. I really do love his theming. Um, last year, he did a mystery box, and I wish he'd do a mystery box again this year because I loved his mystery boxes. Like, he included so many goodies. It was a fantastic mystery box. It was the one and only time that Lunar Beauty created it, and I really were hoping that they were gonna do it again this year for Black Friday, and they didn't. I was so sad. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in, or try out these brushes, see how good they are, and put on some liquid lips, and yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go into the shade Lagoon right here. Um, I'm really, I'm going to be using his LBE4 brush. Typically, I use something like this to lay down like a deeper shadow and buff it out with a lighter color, but since we're using his brushes today, I'm just going to try to go with what I think will be very similar. So we're going to go ahead and dip into here. And we're gonna go ahead and start to just put that right here in the crease area. We're just gonna lightly just tap that in. Um, so today was a very, very uh, interesting day for me. Um, today, my sister left for England, my sister and my nephew, and uh, we have been up since 6.30 in the morning because we had to be at the airport uh, by 8.30 and uh, it was sad. It was a very, very bittersweet moment. I definitely took my time with my sister and I spent a lot of time with her that I could because, you know, it's just a sad time to say goodbye. Like, I'm very, very happy that she's gonna be following her dreams and like living in England. And I know it's gonna be like a fun adventure for us to go visit, but like, it still was very sad for sure. Such a beautiful color. Okay, so now we're gonna buff that out. So we're gonna take this little LB3 brush to just buff that out. Um, not entirely sure what color I'm going for today. All I know is I want to play with these blues because I never really play blues that often. Um, but they are so freaking beautiful. So far, this color is blending out very, very, very nicely. The brushes are very, very soft. Um, the only problem I have with it being a white bristle is that they are going to stain like no tomorrow. So you have to make sure you keep up, keep up with cleaning. I typically like dip this in alcohol and then wipe, then wash it with like um, a Dove baby baby soap to really help to remove any single staining. But that's the only problem without with using like white bristles is that they do tend to just stain just a little bit, but it is what it is. It's been, it's okay. So I have to tell you guys a story. So it's been pretty cold here in Florida <laughs> and that like never freaking happens. So the other night it was down to like the low forties. So I was like, Ooh, I get to put on my booty. So I put on like my big old boots. And I put on like my heavy jacket cause it was like midnight and we had to go walk the dogs before we went to bed. And me and Corey were having a conversation. And I don't know if it's cause my boots have a little bit of a heel on it to it or what, I don't know. But I was trying to step up from like the sidewalk to the grass. And you know, how it's like always like the little lip. I don't know if I didn't see the lip or what, but I'll tell you what, I, I don't know. I rolled my ankle, I twisted and I fell on my knee and then fell to the ground. And I just kind of laid there for a second and I was like, oh my God, this is just where my life is over. <laughs> like, I was doing like, <sighs> my knee, like this was me. Ah. Ah. My knee, oh man. All it did was bring back memories of the time that I busted ass at Harry Potter a couple months ago because it was raining and I slipped and fell and I fell right on my knee. Well, literally, I felt like I, felt like I was gonna fall on Koa. We, we and Koa smacked heads because I feel like he was trying to like, I don't know if you heard me make the noise, but we smacked heads because I fell down my knee and I went down and I was like, oh my God, I was in so much pain. Corey was laughing. And then he ended up asking, are you okay? But I was like, yeah. I literally was like, you didn't even see if I was okay. You started laughing. And he was like, I knew you were fine because I saw you laughing. I was like, yeah, but like, I was like legit in pain. Well. <laughs> Karma's a bitch. <laughs> and last night, Corey and I were um, walking the dogs back at night and um, I had to go check the mail. 
So he's, so I decided to just kind of like, I don't know, just let me just run ahead. Just for some reason I wanted to run ahead. And he had both dogs and <laughs> I don't know, it's just by me running ahead, startled the dogs, I don't know. But all I know is they took off, like they just dragged him. So as he's running to the mailbox, Koa decides to turn, like running straight, trying to just turn, like okay, so like, this is Corey running with the dogs and Koa's going this way. And then he just like turns and Corey goes and like flips over Koa and lands directly on his knee, hits his toe on the sidewalk and like just rolls and lays on his back. And I didn't see it. I was at the mailbox, but I heard this loud commotion. Like somebody just fell into bushes and it was Corey. And you just see like leaves and everything everywhere. And I came running out like, oh my God, are you okay? And there's just Corey like, <laughs> And I was like, are you okay? It's like, I'm fine. And then I just start laughing and I was like, ain't karma a bitch? And he was just like, fuck you, Allie. But <laughs> like in like the funnest way. We spent the rest of the night just laughing. And then I had made fun of the fact that like we are now both in our 30. Falling down at your, when you're 30, I swear to God, hits a lot differently when you're like 20. Cause when you're 20, you can fall down and you can get right back up. I swear to God, when you're 30, you're just laying there going, this is it. Like. I don't, I don't even know if I have it in me to get up. Like, it is just like the weirdest sensation. And I was like, oh my God, Corey, we really are getting older because the fact that we're falling down and we're having to lay there for a couple minutes to take in what just happened and to feel the pain in our body going, yep, you know, I can still move. Just give me a second, you know? And like the next day he was so sore. My leg cap was bruised. And we were just laughing and we're like, oh my God, this is, this is what's come. Like we finally hit this point where things are starting to actually hurt us for a once. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go into the shade of smoke right here. I'm just gonna lightly just place it on top to buff it out. But uh, it was just a, a really funny moment of realization to us that, you know, we are not those two 18 year olds who first met. We are definitely getting a little bit older and life is changing and uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a fun moment that I'm glad that we both got to like experience together just because you still gotta laugh at yourself. Like I, I am that person, I cannot help it. Like I do laugh when someone falls. I make sure they're okay first, but I, I really, really, really can't help it. Um, like I'll never forget one day I was at Animal Kingdom and I'm really embarrassed because this is actually with Paige and Jarvis. So this is the first time we were hanging out. We were at Animal Kingdom and um, we were passing by the ride. <laughs> um, uh, the, um, oh my God, what's that roller coaster called? Oh, okay, so we're passing by Expedition Everest and it's a, it's a wonderful roller coaster right in Animal Kingdom. It was like an older lady standing outside the ride and she was just standing there. I think she was like waiting for her like family or something. I don't know what she was doing. All I know is that she decided to start walking and she was not looking where she was walking and there's like these rocks because they have rocks that kind of line outside the entrance queue where people put all their strollers. She tripped over a rock and when I tell you that it took her a full minute to fall. I mean, she was just like just running and like we're running like towards like she's falling down and we're watching like in horror, like, oh my God, this lady's about to bust her face. Like, what do we, what do, we do? Cause she's taking a minute to run to her location of where she's gonna fall and eat and eat shit. And luckily for her, there was a stroller right in her path. Their parents standing there having a conversation they had their kids stroller right here. She grabbed onto the stroller. Unbeknownst to her, there was a child sitting in said stroller and she grabbed it and she proceeded to fall down to like catch herself. And the child that was in it proceeded to roll out of the stroller. Everybody was okay. The lady started laughing. The kid was completely fine. It was like a little five-year-old just sitting in there, you know, completely was able to catch itself. But the parents were like, oh my God. And I was like, oh my God, are you okay? And Paige and Jarvis were like, so shocked. Well, when I realized that everybody was okay, I started to laugh. I couldn't help it because I have never seen somebody in my life take that long to fall down. I was like, oh my God. It's like she was just running, just took off running, but you're trying to catch her balance. And she took down people with her. It was just a little funny. And I felt so bad. Cause like I said, this is my first time with Paige and Jarvis. <laughs> and they laugh, but like not really. And I was still laughing and Corey's like, Allie, Allie, you gotta stop laughing. I was like, 
he's funny. And he's like, no, you gotta stop laughing. And I was like, oh no, they're not gonna like me. Like I'm laughing at this people, like this situation. They're not gonna like me. And they kind of looked at me. I don't know if it's cause I was laughing too much. I don't know what the deal was, but I like legit had to, like I felt like I needed to apologize afterwards. They go, no, 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 it's funny, it's funny. And I was like, oh no. I was like, they don't like me anymore. Cause I just laughed at the situation. And uh, no, they handled it very well. I don't know if they used to remember that. I haven't, we ever, I haven't actually brought up that incident since that day. Cause I was like, oh, bad memory. <laughs> I brought up the incident since that day. But yeah, I'm that type of person, like in a really, really awkward situation. Like I laugh, I can't help it. If like that's my body's response. Um, but all right, so now that that's laid down, I actually want to go into the shade Deep Sea right here to lay that on my inner and outer corners. So I'm going to go ahead and take the same brush we used right here to kind of dig into this before I use my nails. I want to see how the shimmers are without me using my nails. Um, but yeah, that is my story. Uh, I have fallen on my face. I'm going to need my fingers. I have fallen on my face numerous times. I'll never forget when I was at my job serving one day, I happened to slip on some water that was on the ground. The server had spilled a um, tray of drinks and didn't have time to put down a wet floor sign. So I unfortunately did not see the spill. And I walked by her section and I went boop. And I mean like I flipped up and I started to fall down. Well, I don't know if it's just like your instinct when you're falling to grab whatever you can see. And the only thing I saw was this lady sitting in her chair and I proceed to grab onto her and we both fall down together on the ground. And I just lay there and she's like, oh my God, are you okay? And I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna get fired because I took this guest down with me. And I was like, are you okay? She's like, I'm fine. I was like, I'm so sorry I took you down. She's like, I would have done the same thing too. She got free food out of it. But <laughs> I felt bad and people were laughing because they said, Allie, you were going down and you were just taking anybody in your path with you. I was like, I was just trying to catch myself and this poor lady just was sitting at the wrong spot at the wrong time. I guess I thought to myself, I'm going down, you're going down with me. Like, I, don't, I felt bad. I was like, I'm so sorry. Oh, I bet you that's a story that lady will never forget. The server busting ass right in front of her and taking her down with them. Now it looks really messy, but when I go in and I clean it all up with my foundation, it would look probably a lot better, but that's a really, really pretty blue. And it's actually applying with the brush rather nicely. Now I did not wet the brush ahead of time, so I'm sure if I wet the brush, it'll probably even be more pigmented. But a lot of times when it comes to a situation like this, I like to just use my fingers, but I like to test the formula to see how well it performs with just a dry brush. And right now it's laying down very, very nicely. All right, so now that that's laid down, we're gonna try going into the Adam, Adamadium right here. I'm hoping that by using this shade, I'll get some of that like Wolverine power. But we're gonna start to stick that right in the middle. I don't know how this look would turn out. I'm just trying to have fun with it and play with these deeper colors. I know this would be a great palette to mix up with like some nudes or you can do some beautiful like browns and blues and like golds together. But I just really wanted to play around with the deeper blues and play around with like that beautiful shade right there. Definitely blend it a lot more together so it looks more prettier, but oh my God, is this not a beautiful shade? Now I do want to let you guys know there's definitely a lot of fallout with these colors, but very, very easy to work with, very blendable. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face off camera, really, really clean this up, throw on some lashes, and then I'll come back and do the liquid lips and tell you guys what I think of this entire collection. Okay, so now that my lashes are on, I really think this eye look is just so so beautiful it has a really really like smoky effect to it I am wearing my kinder beauty lashes I did go in with my bottom row I went in with the shade smoke right here kind of buffed it out with a little bit of the shade lagoon and then in the very very center of the eye I actually went in with the shade meteor so I put that right here I also put on my inner corner and my brow bone as well this is a very very gorgeous palette for blush today I'm actually wearing my moon prism blush palette such a great palette. Manny does it like such a great job. So for lips, we are obviously going to be wearing these two shades together. So first we're going to start with the shade Zaya. Oh God, I have been waiting for this shade for so freaking long. Um, we're just going to lay it on and they're going to put the gloss right on top of that. Oh, it's like that beautiful nude. Okay. Now we're going to put that shade Aura right on top. Now the Zaya didn't have the same smell as Aphrodite does. Aphrodite has this beautiful like vanilla cookie smell. This doesn't really have it all, but it's, it, this doesn't have the smell at all, but it's very, very comfortable on the lips. Now we're gonna put Aura right here. All right, guys, and this is the final look. So what are my thoughts on the Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse collection? 
Guys, I think it's freaking stunning. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I really do love how the final effect came to be. It looks like I'm wearing mostly shimmer on my eyes and I typically don't ever do that, but I just think it's really, really beautiful how well the shades came together. They're very pigmented. I didn't see much fallout with the mattes, but the shimmers did have quite a bit of fallout. So I do recommend putting it on first before putting on the rest of your face, but it's very, very easy to clean up. Now the mattes did blend out very, very beautifully. The shimmers blended out very, very beautifully. Lunar Beauty has a really, really wonderful, wonderful formula. That's why I love their palettes so much. And that's why I said that their collection is only so underrated. Like they need to be seen more because they have such prominent products that just like it comes full force at you and it's just so well lunar beauty is really becoming one of my top five favorite brands i love them so freaking much particularly when it comes to little lip products so do i highly recommend this palette absolutely it's a 48 dollars palette yes it is a neutral palette but you do have some pops of color right here you can create beautiful 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 everyday eye looks with the top two rows and if you want to have a little bit of color you can definitely play with some of the bottom shades right here but again this palette is absolutely worth it you do get 15 shades for 48 dollars which is actually a fantastic price now when it comes to the lip products you do have the zaya liquid lip that retails for 18 dollars and the lip gloss that retails for 17 dollars again very very affordable pricing for what you're paying for their lip glosses are beautiful i love lunar beauty lip gloss like celine is my favorite favorite one i wear it on almost every single liquid lip you guys see me wearing like whenever my savage look liquid lip i used to always wear my fenty beauty on top and now i wear my lunar beauty almost every single time it's a wonderful formula always smells fantastic it just glides on the lip it gives you that beautiful beautiful shine that lasts for a very very long time and it's non-sticky i can't stand a lip gloss that's sticky as for zaya bitch i have waited for this for so freaking long and it delivered it's a very beautiful brown liquid lip i wanted this ever since like the greek goddess collection came out i finally finally got my hands on it definitely worth it i do love the coloring as for the brush set, so the bag right here, it's super cute. I really do like how big the bag is. Very simple, easy to travel with. The brushes do feel really, really nice. I didn't play with every single brush, but I do like the coloring. I love the gradients between white to black. The bristles are very soft. Now, the only negative thing I have to say about the brushes is the fact that one, this is gonna get dirty real quick, especially if you're playing along with his palettes. It's gonna get dirty really quick, so you do have to make sure you clean it. There's a very, very good chance that these are gonna stain and i don't like the white bottom right here just from touching with my fingertip i could see a foundation stain on it i could see some eyeshadow stain on it so particularly with the feel of it it has um, a soft plastic feel i don't know how to describe it but it does have the capability to stain whenever you have something like this type of white texture like a mattified white Anything you touch on it does have the potential to stain. So it's the only thing I don't like because my hands, they tend to get really dirty whenever I do makeup, whether it's from touching my foundation or, or playing with shimmers, anything I touch, my hands get really dirty. And I really hate the fact that it does transfer onto the brush because I could end up picking back up the brush later, put the product back on my hand, touch my face, and I can get things messed up. So that's the only thing I don't like is just the white bot bottom right here because of how dirty this is going to get. I just know it myself, it's gonna get dirty. I already see it getting dirty right here. So that's the only negative I have to say. Other than that, I do think his brushes are really good. They perform very well. They're really, really affordable. You get seven brushes in a brush bag for $35, which is absolutely incredible. And you can buy these brushes all individually, which I really do like as well. Now, I don't think they're offering the bundle set anymore, but I actually bought the entire thing for $95, which was fantastic. Lunar Beauty does offer Afterpay, which is, again, it's a great selling point because I do love Afterpay. I promise this video is not paid or sponsored or anything like that. I just I do really enjoy Lunar Beauty. I really do enjoy, I really do enjoy um, Manny Emiway's content. He makes great content here on YouTube and I think he's so enjoyable to watch and I thoroughly, thoroughly am in love with this collection. I'll be playing this palette time and time again and I just, I can't get over this packaging. Like this is freaking everything. So Manny, you killed it again. This is a great collection. I highly recommend it. It's still available right now. So I'll make sure I link them down below and yeah, guys, that is it for today's video, guys. Make sure you guys head on over to my Instagram so you guys can enter day four of my 12 days of giveaway. If you guys haven't, please consider giving this video a cheeky thumbs up. If you guys have not subscribed, I do post every day because it's Vlogmas. I'll be posting every day until the 25th for Vlogmas. Also, make sure you guys head on over to my other channel. It's R for the Life. You guys get to see my wonderful adventures here in Florida with my amazing fiance, Corey. And as always, guys, I just want to thank you guys for all your love and support. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. Um, both do retail.
Oh, first one was gone in like the roar area, like some, okay. 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 Don't scare me. <laughs> For 40, 40, so for blush today, I'm actually wearing my moon prism. I'm actually wearing for, for, and if you want to add a little bit of color, you can definitely hit right, you could definitely tap, tap.